Well, hey everyone, it's uh, Rocket T Coyote, and today on Rocket's Junk, we're going to take a look at these Animaniacs bendable action figures. Now, I think I picked these up at the Warner Brothers Studio Store in Ann Arbor, Michigan. We've got Wacko, Yakko, and Dot, voiced by Jess Harnell, Rob Paulson, and Tress McNeely. Now, back in the 90s, you had the voice artists uh, making the rounds, uh, visiting the various Warner Brothers studio store. Uh, the cast of Animaniacs was actually supposed to visit the Ann Arbor Warner Brothers store in Briarwood Mall, but it had to be canceled because Tress McNeely had uh, came down with some kind of throat ailment, so they had to cancel that. But... I think like a month later, Rob Paulson and Morris LaMarche uh, came out on a Saturday to uh, appear at the Warner Brothers Studio Store in Ann Arbor, Michigan. And Rob Paulson was in rare form. Uh, he was a, a local voice talent on, uh, on a radio station in Flint, Michigan, WWCK, which... Uh, I don't think exists anymore. Uh, he would do various characters on a uh, radio program called Buffalo Dick's Radio Ranch. And uh, I think during the 1980s he left the show to do Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I believe he was the voice of Michelangelo, or Michelangelo if you will. And while he was, uh, during his visit at uh, in Ann Arbor, he was doing all his characters, not just the Warner Brothers ones. He was doing The Mask, and I think he was doing Vinny from Biker Mice from Mars. And, of course, uh, Yakko. A young fan would come up to the desk to get his autograph, and Rob would say, Okay, what's your name, Kevin? Well, hello, Kevin! And he'd shake the kid's hand and sign his autograph. They also had, uh, there were Pinky and the Brain uh, fursuit characters there. They could only make limited appearances because of the uh, their quite warm costumes. So <laughs> I think I may have posted those pictures on, on the Discord site. Uh, you can look those up. But here we have the uh, Animaniacs. Now, on a personal note, I have visited many local water towers is part of my job well actually there's about three of them that i visit regularly i've never encountered any puppy children and with that we close out and return you to the fun day puppet show <laughs> 